We welcome all candidates of UEW entrance exams. This year's entrance exams is going to be online. Therefore, this tutorial is to help you familiarize yourself with the learning management system before the exams day. In this tutorial, we'll be sharing tips for a hassle-free entrance exams. This tutorial will have a mobile version. We know some of you wouldn't have laptops or computers to take part in these entrance exams. So there will also be a tutorial on how to do or how to go about things on a mobile phone. Before you start the exam, there are some things that you need to take note of. The first thing is you should have a laptop or a phone I mean a smartphone and then you have to make sure that you have a stable internet connection so wherever you live you make sure you get a network that is better in your locality and then you have to get enough data not a whole lot but enough data to take you through all the exam and then the exam is timed just like the normal exam but with this time the timing is done by the computer so you'll be automatically logged out if your time is up so you take note of the time as you start the exam as you open the exam to start you have to make sure that you read every instruction that is present on your screen that is going to help you to go through the entrance exams successfully now i'm going to take you through the steps to get access to the learning management system for the exam. First, you will have to open your browser. So I'll go ahead and open my browser. After opening your browser in the address bar, you're going to type the web address for the learning management system. The web address for the learning management system is entranceexams.edu uew.edu.gh so that is the web address for the lms or the learning management system made purposely for the entrance exams so you need not to visit any other site apart from this very site you see on your screen uew entrance exams then you have to log in you will need your serial number and your pin when you went to the bank to purchase the form, you were given a printout that contains your serial number and your PIN. On that printout, you will see your serial number and your PIN. So you will have to enter your serial number here in this first test box named serial number. And then you enter your PIN to over here. Now, since the serial number and the PIN on your voucher is very long, if you are using a computer, we are going to look at something simple that will help you to accurately type your serial number and pin into the text box without any hassle. On your computer, go ahead and search for Notepad. You open Notepad or Microsoft Word. Just open it. After opening it, type in your pin in there. So in my case, I'm going to type my pin. So this stands for my PIN. And then I'm going to go ahead and type in my serial number. After typing them in either Notepad or Microsoft Word, make sure you save it so that in the subsequent exam, you can open them to copy and paste in those test box as you write your exam. For it to be simple and to get the accurate digits, I've typed them in my notepad. I'm going to go ahead and then copy them one by one. So I'll copy the serial first and come and paste it here. So I have my serial number there. Then I'll go ahead and copy the pin to copy and then paste it at where the pin is. So now we have our serial number and our PIN nicely pasted in their respective places. If this is your personal computer, 
you go ahead and check remember it will save your pin or your serial number on the page for you so anytime you come and log in you see that your pin or your serial number has been typed there already so after typing in your serial number and your pin you go ahead and click on login so after logging in successfully you'll be taken directly to the dashboard on your dashboard you see course overview and recently accessed courses your exam is going to be displayed at course overview the system will automatically enroll you into the exam you're about to write so you go ahead anything you find in the course overview that matches with the exam you are writing on that day you go ahead and click on it so in my case i have a trial exams after watching this tutorial you'll get the opportunity to interact with this particular exam to get yourself familiar with the system so after logging in and on your dashboard you have a whole lot on your screen we have something over here on your right top corner we have timeline that is it will be displaying all the papers you have to write in the coming weeks or days so if today you are writing a paper you see the content or the paper over here you will have to click on it to open it and if the next day or the next hour you have another paper it will be shown here upcoming activities so as you log in you take note of that and then we have a calendar here too that will display the date of that particular event so when you see any of the days highlighted and you place your mouse on it you see that it will show the details of the event that is details of the exam so with this one we are going to do the trial exams in your case it could be the title of your program or the title of the exams you are coming to write so anything you find here as at the time you are starting the exam you click on it to open it so in, a, in my case i have trial exam so i'm going to go ahead and then click on this so when you open the trial exams as we said earlier you read instructions so for instance with this one this trial exams is to help you get familiar with the learning management system the time limit is 10 minutes the number of attempts you have on that exams will be also displayed so when you open it you go ahead and click on attempt quiz attempt quiz in my case i've already attempted one so the first one i attempted is what is showing here and the results is what is showing over here it may be that in your exam or in this entrance exam your grade will not be shown to you instantly wherever it may be or wherever it is you have to just go ahead and complete it and submit so we are going to look at how the questions looks like in this tutorial so i'm going to go ahead and click on re-attempt quiz in my case if it's your first time you will see attempt quiz so i'll go ahead and click on it then there's an instruction here it says your attempt will have a limit of 10 minutes when you start the timer will begin to count down and cannot be paused you must finish your attempt before it expires are you sure you wish to start now so you take note of this instruction and click on start attempt these are your questions and when you come to the quiz navigation on the right side of the screen you see time left means that your time will be running countdown so our time for this quiz is 10 minutes so the time is going to reduce gradually till it gets finished when it gets finished 
your quiz ends. If you're able to answer even one, two, or five questions, it means that the time given for that quiz has elapsed, and therefore your quiz has come to an end. Whatever questions you answered is what you are going to get. So out of the five questions you answered, you were able to get one or two correct. That is the max you're going to get. So you take note and make sure that you become time conscious. You monitor the time as displayed over here so that you don't be behind time. So we're going to go ahead and read the questions and answer them. We answer them by choosing the answers that is clicking on them. So for instance, my first question says, when did the Portuguese build Elmina Castle? So I'm going to choose something like C. If you are not sure of your answer, you can click on clear my choice and choose a different answer. Now we'll go to the next question. Which country is to the east of Ghana? So I'm going to go ahead and choose Togo. If I'm not clear about it, I can clear my choice and choose another one. Then the third question says, when did Ghana become independent? I'm going to go ahead and choose my answer. So you just be choosing answers throughout. And this one is also asking of Ghana's first president. I'm going to choose my answer. It might be that you may have questions that has feeling. If you have feeling questions, what you have to do is to type in the answers. You have to make sure that the answer you type in there is the answer to the question. No description, just a straightforward answer. So in my case, this question is asking for the motto of UEW. So I'm going to go ahead and type my answer there. I have my answer nicely typed there. Now we have other questions on the other page or the next page. So I'm going to go ahead and click on next page. Then I start answering all those questions. Now we are on our last question. Who ruled Ghana before it gained its independence? So I'm going to go ahead and choose my answer. When you are done with answering all the questions, you can go ahead and click on finish attempt. Even though there are more time remaining, you can decide to finish your attempt. Or if it is allowed, you can go to the previous page to cross-check your answers but for now i can tell whether you'll be allowed to go back to review the answers you did in the other pages so for now in my case i have the opportunity to go back and review or look at whatever i did in the previous page so after being sure of your answers you go ahead and Click on finish attempt. So as you click on finish attempt, all your answers will be saved. Now your time will be still running. So 
when you get here and you forget to submit all your finished attempts or to submit your attempt your attempt may be submitted automatically when the time is due or the time is up so i'll go ahead and click on submit all and finish there's a message here once you submit you will no longer be able to change your answer for this attempt so if you are sure about that you submit and finish then this is the attempt i just made you won't be able to see your grade it depends on the settings that will be done on the entrance exam if it is set to display your grade after the exam you will see your grade being displayed here but if it's not set to display your grade then you wouldn't see any grade here until you are called for admission so after finishing your entrance exams you have nothing else to do here until you have another paper then you can log in and come and do that exam too so after finishing everything you can log out by clicking on your profile icon or your profile image here at the top right corner of your screen then you click on log out if you have any question or anything that you are not clear about you can click on this icon here and send a message and you'll be replied as soon as possible you can also take advantage of the helplines of the LMS team to ask all your questions before the time for the exam so this is the tutorial on how you go about your entrance exams online make sure that any instruction or any information that is presented on the UEW official website is thoroughly read by you you take note of every instruction that will come out on the entrance exam